Hey everyone, my name is Natasha Rachel and I'm a digital learning specialist with Atlanta Public Schools. And the resource that I want to share with you for the 2018 10 Days of Resources is how to create a virtual or digital vision board. So we're getting ready to start um, 2019. We're getting ready to set our intentions for the year and really reflect on 2018 and everything that came with it and what we want to do different um, for 2019 and how we want to set the tone to move towards um, reaching goals in 2019. So this is a fantastic lesson to do at the very beginning of the school year to really get our students um, and even ourselves kind of centered and grounded for what's going to come in 2018. 19, Excuse me. So we're going to shoot this video in one take and hopefully it'll be all good. So on the screen you'll see that I've shared with you an example of what I created at the beginning of 2018 and I actually did this um, with a class of little girls. Um, I believe they were fourth grade girls at one of our elementary schools here in Atlanta Public Schools. And this is the one that I created as an example. So um, you'll see basically all I did was use Google Drawings to kind of drag in and pull in some different images um, that represented some things that I wanted to accomplish this year. And I am pleased to say that I accomplished the majority of them. There's definitely something to be said about writing it down um, and putting it in a visual spot that you'll see each and every day. So we're going to walk through a couple of the platforms that I recommend for using with your students. There are numerous platforms out there, so don't feel like these are the only ones that you can use. But these are some of the ones that I recommend just for ease of use with our kids. Okay, so I'm, you've, I'm sharing my screen here so you can see. Um, what I have created here, and I'm actually going to redo this, but the updated version will be in um, the resources links that come with this lesson, is just a brainstorming sheet. And so when I worked with this group of students, what I did was print this out for them so they could have it on paper to reflect. And you may even want to give it to them, you know, a couple days ahead of time so they really have time to process. What I did with this particular group of girls was give it to them. I gave them about 15, 20 minutes to kind of brainstorm and process. Um, but I think if they would have had more time to really kind of sit down and think about it and digest it, it would have been a little bit more um, effective for them. But they did great nonetheless. So you really want to think about some of those areas um, in your life or your students will think about different areas in their life that they really want to grow and improve for 2019. So as you can see, I've kind of started tweaking this one already. It already it states 2018. I'm reflecting it to be 2019. Again, the updated version will be in the resources um, for this lesson. So you want to think about your daily non-negotiables. What are those things that you want to make sure that you accomplish every day? Maybe it's exercising, eating right, reading for 30 minutes a day. What are those daily non-negotiables that you really want to have in your life for 2019. What are some career goals that you have? Do you want to, um, I don't know, finish all of your classes with an A? Do you want to start an internship this year? Do you want to present at a conference for us that are um, in the field of education? What are those career goals that you really have for 2019 for yourself? Then I want you to think about some different personal and family goals that you have, some different health and wellness goals that you have, some different things that are on your bucket list, just some things that you really want to get done. And then what are your financial goals? So think about those things. Have your students think about those items. Go ahead and get them on paper. You can also do this um, digitally. Um, push it out through Google Classroom. Make sure every student has their own copy. And they can just type directly into that form. Um, Again, you can always print it out as well. So let's move on to some of the platforms that I recommend. So once you've gone through, and I also have this and the resources for you as well, um, once you have reflected on the previous year and gone through and really decided what it is that you know worked for you last year, what didn't work, and you've then started to brainstorm using this guide here um, about what you want to accomplish this year coming up, then you're going to dive into the create phase. So these are the three platforms that I'm going to share with you to really dive into that create phase. The first one is, surprise, Google Drawings. Um, this to me is just the easiest no-brainer one. So all you'll do is go to drawings.google.com or you can access it through your um, Google Drive. And then first thing you want to do is have your students change the background color. So maybe I want to change it to a light purple. And then they'll just go ahead and do some different things to it. Of course, they want to title it. So let's say vision board and then what I like to do is have them insert some word art and we're not going to go through all of this but maybe I want to say 2019 vision board and then I can just pull that up where I want it I can um, 
change the font to Luckiest Sky. That's my favorite font. I can change the fill color. This is just a total <laughs> not a good color scheme at all, but you get the picture. So change the color, get it to where you want it. Um, what I also recommend is that you have them bring in an image of themselves. So it really kind of brings it in and makes it theirs. It makes it personal for them. So I'm going to go ahead and upload. I know I have a picture on here somewhere. We'll go ahead and just pull this one in and make it nice and small. Um, one little trick that I always like to show my students, because I always say, how do you change your picture into shapes? If you highlight your picture and come up here on your little crop feature here and click that and go to shapes, I can then crop that image into whatever shape I want. Um, and they really love when you show them that. Um, so I think a lot of the time we forget that that's there. But you can also go ahead and add a border weight to outline your picture even more to make it pop. So once you have that done, you really want to take those items that you listed here on your vision board brainstorming sheet and really bring those items into here. So for example, if one of the things that I wanted to do was increase my health and fitness, um, health and fitness, so I just opened up a new browser, typed that into Google. I'm going to go to images. And let's say I want to start running. Actually, this is a good one here. I like this. So I'm going to um, click it. I'm going to copy that image. I'm going to come back to my vision board here. And I'm just going to paste it right here. And then I'm going to make it small. Now, what you can do if you want is go ahead and write health and fitness around the image if you want to. You don't have to. Um, really, it's a visual representation of those things that you want to accomplish. So you would just go through your list, pull out different images that meet these different things that you want to accomplish, and then copy and paste them onto your vision board. Now, once you're done, what I want you to do is go to File, Download As, and download it as a JPEG. What that's going to do is create an image of your digital vision board. And with that image, you can then tweet it out. If they're for your students, you go ahead and print them out hang them up in the classroom. I would encourage you to print two copies, one for your classroom and one for them to take home. You could even laminate them, have them take them home, hang them up in their bathrooms or their bedrooms so that they see it every day. And it's a visual representation of those things that they want to be intentional about for the year 2019. You can also do this and just have them set the parameters for the semester, January through May or June, whenever you get out of school, um, and have it be a focus for that first semester. Um, from there, you can also have them redo it again in the fall to set the intention for the next year. So that is the first option is to use Google Slide, um, Google Drawing, excuse me. The next option that you have is Google Slides. And again, this works in a very similar way to Google Slide, Google Drawing, excuse me, so I'm not gonna go through that, but once you just open up your blank slide presentation, it would work the same way. You could go ahead and get rid of all these text boxes, change your background color of your slide, and just drag and drop those images in there to represent those things that you um, want to accomplish for the year. Um, so I won't go over this one because I think everyone is pretty familiar with how Google Slides works. Um, and then the last one that I want to show you, oh, having some issues here, is Canva. If I can click it. There we go. Canva is another awesome tool that I love and it's available for you for free. So what I would do here is um, click on any of these. So I'm going to say a presentation. So once I click on that, it's going to go ahead and process and pull up for us. And I'm keeping in mind all of those items that I put on our um, brainstorming sheet. So as this is coming up, you'll see that it already kind of populates the um, size for me here. Um, I can resize this if I want to just by clicking on this and I can change the dimensions of it to make it eight and a half by 11 or whatever size it is that you need. Um, another thing that you can do is come down here to background. This again is always the first thing that I would do. And Canva does have a lot of free backgrounds. So if let's say I want to do the lined paper um, or maybe I want to do um, these watermelon slices or lemon slices, maybe I want to do cherries, whatever you want it to be. So you can change those and you'll see a lot of these are free. Um, if you scroll down, you'll see some of them start to be paid for. So I like to, of course, stick to the free ones. So once you have the background image that you want, you can go ahead and do your text here. And it's as simple as clicking the text. It adds it there for you. You can um, change your text. So let's say vision board. 
then I can move it to where I want it, drop it down. Again, go ahead and add your image, um, all that kind of thing. And they do give you some different fonts down here. Again, there are a lot of free and there are some that are paid. Another thing with Canva is that it allows you to pull in different elements. So there's free photos that are already built in here for you. So maybe for your background, you want to do a coffee um, cup. So you could stretch that out. Maybe this picture is representative of just taking some time for yourself and some time to reflect and meditate. So that might be a good image for that. Maybe this image here is for you to get outdoors and spend some time um, working out or exercising or just having some meditation time. So you'll see that you have all of these images that are here. So this is one place that you can get images for your digital vision, digital vision board. You can also type what you're looking for here. So maybe, um, uh, maybe one of my things is to get good grades. You'll see again, a lot of these ones are paid, um, but maybe there's one that I find that's free that I want to use to represent getting good grades for the school year. And then I can just drag that over. You also have the option to upload your own images. So this one here is one that I have. Maybe this represents me getting good grades for the year. Um, so I have that there. Maybe that's me just gaining extra knowledge this year. So you have the option to even drag and drop your own images, upload your own images right in there. And you'll see I have a bunch that I have here. Um, so that is another option that you have. You also then from this one want to make sure that you download it. You can save it as a PDF or a JPEG. Both of those would work fine. And once you have that downloaded, go ahead and save it, um, print it, hang it up somewhere. Another thing that you can do is go ahead and save these and make them have the students make them their screensavers on their cell phone so that they see it every day. And it really is a constant reminder. So you have access to all of those instructions here along with this quick little video I am going to make this a QR code um, for you to scan and place that on here as well if you have any questions definitely reach out to me you can find me on Twitter at APS I T N A T A S H A that's at APS I T Natasha um, and you can uh, reach out to me there and I'll definitely get back to you. I hope you found this lesson um, helpful as you move on into the 2019 year to really inspire your students and to really get them motivated and set their intention for the new year. Thanks so much. Have happy holidays and I'll see you soon. Bye.